Virginia's place in the development of the United States is very old. From the location of the first permanent English settlement at Jamestown in 1607, to the establishment of the first seat of government of the original 13 colonies at Williamsburg, Virginia assures its standing as the Old Dominion. Virginia is also nationally recognized as the birthplace of presidents, with eight who were born there. Of the 49 signees to the Declaration of Independence, Virginia with seven is only surpassed by Pennsylvania with nine. Thomas Jefferson of Virginia is recognized as the author of the Declaration of Independence. James Madison of Virginia proposed the Bill of Rights. It is the place where Dolly Madison and her distinguished husband, James Madison, would be entertained in old world fashion. Estates dotted the Virginia countryside, such as the Harwood House, the original home of the Washingtons, to his Mount Vernon estate, to Monticello, where Thomas Jefferson entertained, or the Glen, the Saratoga, or Shannon Park, or Claremont Court, or 50 other spots within as many miles from Central Virginia itself. By the early colonial period of the 1700s, Virginia was already well regarded as the land of Cavaliers and American aristocracy. The coastlands and mountains of Virginia would give rise to resorts that were world class then and even today. But the Greenbrier, the Homestead, the Jefferson, the Cavalier, and countless sulfur springs, some having railroad spurs bringing the population to its very doors without the overland hassle of horse and wagon. The rise of wealth and sophistication in Virginia in early America would rival the offerings to the nobility of Europe. With its many vacation options, Virginia is known as the state for lovers. It is here in Clark County, Virginia, we find the estates of the Briars and the Saratoga. The Briars, situated in Clark County, Virginia, a county known for its pastoral beauty and stately country residences, was constructed around 1819 as the home of Dr. Robert Powell Page. His daughter, Mary Frances Page, married John Eston Cook, a noted Virginia novelist, soldier, and historian. John Cook and his wife would call the Briars their home, and he would later serve with distinction as the Chief Ordnance Officer for Major General Jeb Stewart. It was from here that author Hanson Hiss commented in his Day at the Briars in 1897 that Mr. Cook was known for his undying love for the South, how he never was reconciled to the Union, even after the echoes of war had long since died away, always in the front rank in battle, and how the House entertained the Comte de Paris and his Lordship of Underwood on their visits. How John Eston Cook, who, during his life, was so universally beloved by all the Southern people, but by 1897 was already being forgotten by his own family. The Saratoga, also known as the General Daniel Morgan House, is an historic plantation located near Boyce, Virginia. It was built in 1779 by Daniel Morgan, a general in the Continental Army and is best known for his victory over the British at the Battle of Cowpens in 1781. He named his estate after the American victory in the 1777 Battles of Saratoga, which he participated in. It is one of the largest and best preserved plantation houses of the period in the Shenandoah Valley. It is from this area of Virginia that the Appalachian history detectives, in collaboration with the Aquachuger, 
investigate one of the many estate farms for evidence of period artifacts. Join us in this adventure. Hello folks and welcome to this episode of the Appalachian History Detectives. I am on a farm in uh, the Shenandoah Valley, not very far outside of Winchester. There's a lot of Civil War activity in this area. Um, we're hoping to find some of that. But these, um, these sites are also uh, former estates, big estates. And uh, I'm going to just, down here through the trees, there's, uh, there's a road down through there. There's a bunch of old one acre lots. Um, old slave houses down through there. Uh, they're they're old. They're not maintained. Uh, but I'm just going to give you orientation. We've got a lot of land here. We got a big brow there. We've got all this land out here. You can't see it, but way over there, there's a big brow, a uh, big open field, and of course down through here, we've got about 196 acres that we're going to be looking at. Not going to cover all this today. Um, Stay tuned. I don't know what we'll find. We're actually here to hunt. We're, we're going to try to find whatever right now. So just stay tuned and we'll see you here in a bit. We're all down here all bunched up in one area because we haven't really we just started just started the day and uh, Xavier is it Xavier yeah. he found something awesome. already what do you got there buddy <laughs> yeah. and he found it on this old machine crunched up like this I bet that thing sounded really good yeah. it was going congratulations yeah. way to go <laughs> well, we figured that there was an there's an old trash dump right here something Greg, See? Greg found something. He come up here. <laughs> We're sitting up here digging stuff like this. Iron. Greg takes off to the manor house. Same field. <laughs> yeah. All right, hand drop me. What All is right. it? All right. What I is it? No idea. It's a rouge box. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You will have to open that up. Uh, clean it off, yep. and then open it up. A little bit of rouge in it, or a gold coin. It's not heavy enough for gold. Maybe silver. But yeah, that's a rouge yeah. box. Skin. Yeah, actually, there's a nice little pattern on there. Yeah, it's a pretty one. So that's right in the same area as the harmonica reed. All right, yeah. show us the harmonica reed. I need okay. To... And then the rest of it. Yep. Well, heck, I need to go down there where you're at. Yeah, we're up here digging. Poo. We we knew that there'd be artifacts down there near there's that house. Half of his reed. Yeah. Yep. But we thought we'd eliminate these fields first. And a horseshoe and. That's about it, really. Yeah, we're just up here doing public service. Playing <laughs> yeah. We're actually up here in the fields. The rest of us are up here in the fields trying to find uh, yeah. Civil War bullets. That's a really big suspender clip. That's what I said. Well, that's yeah. what I told you. Yeah, that is. That was uh, a big old boy. And then a modern horseshoe. Would that be horse tack, maybe? I don't know. Nope. Oh, you got some nice stuff there. Yeah. That's a good day. Yeah, that's a good day. That's that's definitely fine. You want my uh, old chain links? You can have my old chain links. Okay. Look at that. Ain't that interesting? Pretty interesting. Look in here. I don't know if you can see this. It's 
It's kind of creepy. I'm on a high rock bluff here. It's taking out everything right It's brass. I don't know what that is. All right, Chris found a couple interesting things. What you got? It's not terribly old. It's. Uh, yeah, I think it's. Uh, five pence. Is it Canadian? Uh, maybe. Uh, Let me see it. Is it silver? I almost feel it. It looked silver, but it's cleaning up kind of weird. I think it's a nickel. It says 1991. Yeah. It's up. Go on. Bye bye. I think that's Canadian. That's interesting. Show them uh, where's your. Uh, Chris found a, um, another piece right over here. It's pretty interesting too. A little skeleton. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? And a 16 gauge. That's kind of kind of unusual. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. And a modern bullet. And a modern bullet. Okay. <laughs> well, I found my first, I guess, legitimate find. But I found something interesting here. It is a, it is a lantern ring. It was given a solid 65. Here's some other pieces of it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's nice. All right, here, let's pull it back so you guys can see it. These are just the pieces of it. Right here. All right, we'll take that. I don't know if you can see that. Here's, we got some horses right here that's entertaining us. There's a buck right there. He come running across the field. Here he is, he's trying to check us out. Do you see him up there? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. He's caught, caught a ways away. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. I see four there they go see all kinds of stuff here in the country. all right i just dug this hole here and i pulled that out i don't know how old it is i don't know how old it is i mean it was scoring an 80. him he's been subscribed long you're older than that <laughs> all right well that little horseshoe right here but it was ringing up. Man, it was ringing up like an 88 to 90. I mean, it was pretty high. And it's small. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's, it's like the size of a pony. All right, let's keep going. All right, I just dug this hole. It's a pretty deep hole. I found this. Actually, it's a... Uh, I think maybe a piece of necklace. How old it is? It read pretty high, but it's real thin. Look how thin that is. Real thin. All right, that's a good find. Okay, this is what I got. Another horseshoe. It was ringing a solid 65. All right, let's keep going. I'm about out of battery here. I'm here with everybody. Bo just dug up a, where, where's your little treasure at? here. <laughs> he found a harmonica wreath. And I found a, my second lantern top. Yay. Yay. Oh, look at that. Oh, you see that? Yeah. I was like, I don't know if you're yeah, blaming or not. Yeah, I, 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 I was with the Civil War trenching horse. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Bo saw how many of those I've found. I was going to find them too. <laughs> well, well, we get up to the truck, I, I, didn't, to, I, like I will. I didn't film this oh, because I honestly thought that. it was a paint can lens. Go by his head. Hey, before you pick up, just kind of flip the bottom, that piece up, without picking the shiny one. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> left of the front is there. It's right there. Don't, you, don't pull it off yet. Can you tell what that is? Can you? Um. Not sure. Okay. 
Wait a minute. That's what, here, let's pull this off. Okay. You hold that. It's you want to hold that? Bad, so it's not going to tell us a whole lot. And let me uh, pull Wait. this off. Is there another piece? Or yeah, it's I'm a hoping piece. to be able to at least identify it before it falls. That's going to fall apart. I think as soon as you oh move it. Oh my god. That's so cool. I found something. And yeah. let me go up the design on it. <sighs> Here, I'll get a light. I just don't want to do it with my glove. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's barely holding together. Let me see if I can read the back of it uh, for you. Oh, man. That's a Virginia button. It says I-N-I-A -I right there. Oh, Virginia button. <laughs> wow, shame, Todd. Yep, Virginia. there's the... The INA of it right there. Well, nothing the now. Nothing. What well, would it be? But, well, they could be worth anywhere from you know, 50 to a couple hundred bucks, depending but on But it's a it legitimate is. relic. Yeah, it's a legitimate Civil War Confederate <laughs> relic. <laughs> yeah. So that part isn't going to fall apart, but the stuff is. Yeah. Mark off of it. yeah. Uh, you know, we can look it up and just to double check. Yeah. yeah. That's super cool. That's awesome. It is, it is so thin. No, that part's still got a little weight to it. You might be able to Put it back get a little bit more ID off of it, but it's definitely a Virginia button. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Hopefully you find a musket All and then right. it falls apart. You got any juice left? All right. There's what I just pulled right there. Stug it. Pointer button. I don't know. Uh, it's falling apart. Tarp grommet. It is falling apart. I think the dirt's falling out of it. Yeah. It's an old button. Uh, it just fell apart. That was dirt. I see that little tab right there. A little tab on it. Yeah. You clean it up. Might be something. It might go with that spoon you found. It could. I mean, it's not a grommet and it's not a washer. I don't know. If you guys know what it is, let us know. All right, it's pouring down the rain on us, and we're going to call it today. But, yeah. this is Chris's last, last dig, and it's an old spoon handle. He thinks it's copper. I think it could be pewter. I don't know. We'll clean it up when we get you have to clean it up, take a picture of it, and send it to us. All right, way to go, Chris. Thank you. We're going to head back to the truck. Getting ready to get miserable. It's getting ready to get miserable. All right, well, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, beautiful. It's a, oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. We just passed by two horses back there. They train right down there.